Hello, my name is Marcel Bugmont. I'm Director of Product Management at Vico Software. In the previous session, we talked about the use of markup and cost types to add a margin to individual line items in your cost plan. In this session, I'll explain the use of add-ons. With add-ons, you can add overhead and general cost in your cost plan. In this session, you will learn how to show the add-ons in your cost plan. You may or may not want to show the add-on information in the cost plan, depending on the audience. You'll learn how to create a new add-on and how to divide the add-ons over the cost component in your project. Activate the Margins Layout preset to see the required columns for defining add-ons. Click on the Show button in the Add-ons and Markup section of the Cost Planner ribbon to show the add-ons in your project. The Add-ons section is now presented in your Cost Plan. Clicking the same Show button again will hide the add-ons. To create a new add-on, click the Add button. A new add-on line is added to your Cost Plan. Change the description as needed. Next, set the percentage that you want to add to the total project cost with this add-on. The add-on value is now calculated as a percentage of the calculated total price of your project. In line with the concept of assemblies and components, the add-on is not activated by default, so it is not part of the project's bid price yet. With the add-on selected, click on the Activate button. The calculated add-on value is now added to the project's bid price. Now add another add-on. Note that the total add-on for the project is shown in the add-on column in the top line. By default, add-ons are included in your cost plan separated from the direct cost, defined as components and assemblies. However, if desired, you can subdivide the value of the add-on over the active components in the project. To do this, select the add-on that should be subdivided and click the Divide button in the ribbon. The amount that is added per component can be seen in the Add-on column. In this session, we showed the add-ons in the project using the Add-ons and Markup ribbon section. Then we created a new add-on and defined a percentage of the total project price as its value. Then we divided the add-on over cost components to include it in the cost price for the project.